light of what Major League Baseball has determined needs to happen, what is your reaction as the manager of this team now that spring training games have been suspended and you know that your regular season has been delayed? Um, I, I think it's uh, responsible um, in light of obviously what's going on. It's uh, you know, Obviously, we're all excited about getting this season going and, and guys preparing, but you know, for the players, Major League Baseball, to understand the gravity of this, and, and a lot of it is because of the unknown. Um, so I think that we're doing the right thing right now, and as I look out, as I hear, it's two weeks of a postponement, so I think for us in our club, it's uh, keeping the doors open at the facility, allowing players to uh, stay in shape, um, to prepare for the season. Um, and just being mindful of just trying to, uh, you know, stay out of harm's way. Is that the directive that you'd like your players to stay here and treat it as perhaps just an extended spring as they get ready for the season? Is there a mandate that they stay, or do they have the ability to leave? It, they certainly have that option to leave. Um, it's certainly not a mandate. It, it's an option. Um, you know, our guys are pretty uh, adamant about wanting to stick around uh, because it is only two weeks, but there's a... It's not black and white in the sense of with starting pitchers, relief pitchers, uh, positional players, as far as the ramp up or the, the maintaining where they're at versus kind of tapering down a little bit as far as starting pitching to then kind of ramp back up. So to kind of go cold turkey and to stop playing in any capacity doesn't make sense for anyone, um, you know, regardless of position. And our guys are completely aware of that. So. It just makes sense to keep the doors open, but again, it's their prerogative. You had mentioned the unknown. What is the biggest difficulty with this of having to manage and navigate a situation that you've never had to go through before? Um, I, I think as far as, um, you know, I think just on the baseball side of things is, you know, right now we're looking at a two-week postponement. Um, that's not cemented, you know, because we still need to know more. Um, so that variable right there is certainly not set in stone so that's an unknown um, you know and I think that until we get more educated on you know this coronavirus I think that uh, families players are concerned about potential you know family members and travel and, and all that logistical stuff and you know, you're talking about housing here uh, in Arizona and back home and obviously that's very minor considering what's out there and we're all kind of you know, we appreciate what's going on, obviously. Um, but as far as the logistics side, I think guys are trying to wrap their heads around. How important is it for you guys to be able to just stay on a routine, on schedule, as you still have to get ramped up for what you feel is going to be an opening day two weeks delayed? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's the tricky part is that, you know, I think players could argue or will argue that spring training itself is too long. And so now you're adding two weeks on. So to go at this same pace um, for now eight weeks it is it's a lot to ask. So I think that you got to understand and um, back off a little bit to then keep guys engaged and focused, but then understand that it's two weeks later. So there's a balance, but I think that the communication with me, the, the front office, the players, I think uh, is important. What's your plan with, with pitchers? Is it a case by case, pitcher by pitcher situation? What are you telling? I would I would say um, more pitcher specific as far as starter versus reliever, and you could I guess you could bucket those two, and you know most of the injuries as far as pitching happen happen in April, and then the second month happened in May. So I think that this is a pivotal time for, for pitchers, mainly starting pitchers, to, you know, if you're going to take three days off, you might as well take three weeks off. So I think that keeping your arm going, the intensity is important. Um, so I think that us having the, the doors open and having guys being able to come here and throw pens is important. And um, the volume, obviously, is going to be curtailed, but I still think that guys got to kind of keep up the intensity. Do you know players who are heading home? Right now, I do not. Um, I think it's all kind of new to us, and you know, guys are making phone calls and figuring out what's in their best interest, but I don't know any guys that are going home right now. We used to have organized activities as if it's business as usual. 
I think for us, right now, we're going to kind of have a, a window, an operating window for the day where there's food provided, the training staff, coaching staff, and everyone will be here and then give guys the opportunity to show up and get the work in that they need and we'll do that you know, for the coming days. Have any, have any players been tested for the um, Not that I know of, no. Not any of our guys. Or the staff? Not that I know of, no. Dave, does this feel like anything you've ever been through or is this new territory? Um, you know, there's been, this is new territory. I think that I was a little bit, you know, I remember a little bit that the 95, you know, season, spring training shortened. Um, and then there's obviously been some, you know, viruses that have been out, you know, over the last decade plus as far as, but something like this, that's, I don't think that I've been a part of anything like this. Has there been discussion, perhaps, that this season could be shortened with a two-week delay, uh, reducing the amount of games? Um, I think I think that's certainly on the table, but I think that right now, um, players and owners have come together and felt that the best way to kind of save the season and, and get in the full season games played, um, this is the best way to do it. Um, you know, obviously. That could change, but I think right now that's where we're at. Dave, at what point did you recognize just how serious this was becoming? Was there a moment where you said this has a chance to delay the season? Um, I think, uh, you know, when you start hearing, uh, I think that, you know, up there at Golden State, you know, talking about playing without fans, and then you start hearing, uh, you know, schools, and the Ivy League schools, and, and uh, obviously with what happened with the NBA, then obviously um, it makes sense for us to kind of see what's happening out there and, and act accordingly. Will you stay here? Um, I am going to stay here. I, I, might, um, I might go home for half a day to uh, see a performance, but um, <laughs> outside of that, um, I'm going to be here. Emmy? Yes. Dave, I know there there was at least one other club that I heard from that was planning on having an organized activity tomorrow and then giving players off a couple of days. Is that something that's in consideration for you as well? I, I think the way that you can, you know, combat or prepare for that is leaving it open to the players. And so when you have an optional workout, then, you know, if a position player feels that they want to kind of get away, that's fine. And if a pitcher feels like they want to come here and work out and play catch and get off the mound, then we'll, we'll be here waiting for them. From what you know about your guys as a collective and the personalities that they tend to have, do you anticipate the majority, all of them, will be here? I do. I do. And I think that, um, I think for me to kind of sit here in front of you guys and be proud of the fact that our players understand the scope and the gravity of what's going on, um, but not losing sight of the Major League Baseball season to get and um, you know get in front of our fans and baseball fans in general. And how do we do that? We stay connected. We continue to work. And this is a, a very educated, intellectual group, smart group, savvy. Um, but really, they're baseball players, and they want to play baseball. But they understand that you know health and everyone's health, well-being is, is most important. How many games do you think, spring training games, do you think your team would need for to play? I think, um, so, as I recall, I, I think that the 95 was three weeks. And so if you're looking at three weeks, that's probably three starts for a starter and, and kind of everyone else can kind of work around that. So I think that three starts would be fair to kind of you know, get guys ramped up, and then now you're talking about roster adjustments potentially, and, and that's obviously that's a bigger question as far as how you start the season to keep guys from from getting hurt, keeping them healthy, and how do you? What's the answer? And I don't know that answer right now. Dave, with the minor league season suspended to begin as well, you have the option it seems to play inter squad games with the number of players you have here. Is that something that you're considering at this point to keep them fresh? Yeah, yeah, but I think that the timing uh, is, is the main question um, because, again, 
if you're looking at two extra weeks and to keep up the, the volume for pitchers, now you're looking at a pitcher that was going to throw, you know, you're adding two weeks of a season. So at certain intensity, as, as we expect to play through October and now potentially November, um, that's a lot of uh, workload, you know, innings added on. So we got to be mindful of that. But that's an option, yeah. Just to, to clarify, so your, your preference would be to play a full 162 slate into November rather than have the season be shortened by 12 to 14 games? As of now? Um, well, I think as of now, um, as I understand it, you know, it's going to be postponed, but we're going to still try to get that 162 in. And um, that seems like the best case scenario, but, you know, the people that are making decisions obviously are very mindful of the health. So what, whatever that means, and that, that could be amended, I don't know. Any idea if they would just pick up the schedule and like where it originally is, or if you guys would just push everything back, you know, have play the Giants on right now as of now April 9th, or would you pick up where the schedule is current? I think logic would say you would pick up where the season is on that particular day mm -hmm. um, as opposed to push everything, because then you're going into logistical scheduling stadium, and, and so that's a whole different issue. So I think that um, to potentially uh, you know, put those games on the front end on the back end it seems a lot easier than to kind of revamp 100 and call it 40 something games. When you were referring to 95, was that three weeks of games? Three weeks of spring games? I think it was three weeks of, of training. Training, I think it was. I, I don't I, I don't. I don't recall, Kenny. Um, but that was starting from scratch, right? There was no that's previous right. training. That's totally fair. That. Yeah. So you already have the bulk of the spring training. Under and I don't know if it was three weeks of games or, I mean, it was probably just three weeks of spring training. I think it was three weeks of spring training. Um, yeah. I, I don't honestly I don't know when the mandatory kind of I know right now we're going to keep things open and keep try, keep things moving forward. Um, that's a players association union thing trying to figure out when they have to be here when we restart you know essentially spring training and I don't know the answer. What do you think about the idea of potentially played off game being played in neutral sites if you know if it's November fifteenth in Minnesota is. I'm all for playing or being that <laughs> um, Yeah, I, I think that number one, it, it's about the well being and the health of, of the fans and the players um, and the coaches and people that are affiliated with baseball. So, wherever that is, I know that that's at the forefront of everyone's mind. So, wherever that is, I think that the players are all for, for that. Do you, as you understand it, is two weeks a hard date, or can you maybe be pushed to, to May 1st? To, is that something that's been I, I think that it's all contingent upon things that come out. I mean, I think that we've learned more, I mean, each day, and I think that's the goal, but I'm, I'm sure, you know, that could change if something, you know, develops.